and the beekeeper, wherever there were bees moved in to people's homes or in their water meters or electric boxes, I would go and remove them and also uh, farm with Simantala cattle. I was walking on the farm one day and a, a thorn hooked me on, on the thigh and it bled. Um, I washed it with a bit of dental and put a plaster on it and I thought it was okay. So if you can look at the leg, it was from here right down. In the beginning I thought, oh, it's just a little sore, it'll go away. Next week it's going to be okay. Eventually the size just doubled and doubled as this infection was getting bigger. So <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't a nice journey. And then I went to the doctor and they gave me different things. After about three months it really got worse. He put me through the scan and then found that, that the artery had blocked. Um, so we opened the artery and then it started healing quite a bit and then it started on the other leg. So he unblocked this one as well and um, in the meantime the sores were just getting worse and worse. Obviously him going into hospital and having to go for treatment, we were limited as to where we could go and for how long. And he was hospitalised quite frequently. I couldn't um, walk properly, I couldn't sleep properly. It was a big problem. It started affecting me at work as well because of all the tablets and things that I was taking. My son started taking over and I just didn't have the capacity in my mind to carry on with it. So eventually um, I just gave up. He's not a negative person or a depressed person at all, but he did seem to lose interest in the work situation. That created more pressure on me because I had to handle all the, the work pressures and the business pressures. Then we went to Mozambique and um, walking on that damp sand brought some of the germs up into the sores. Wow. And um, I eventually flew back from Durban and I um, stank the whole plane out with this rotting leg of mine. Um, and then I went back to the wound clinics and they tried and they tried. And at, at one stage I got to him and, and he said he doesn't know what else to do. Yeah, and it was very concerning. I mean, there were some times that he wondered if it was going to be the worst. He's opened the veins and he's tried everything that in his knowledge that, that he could do. And then he said to me, but there's one... Um, one person that could help you, and that would be Danella. He was really down. He was really down, and he did not trust that we can make a difference in his life. She was using the bee stuff, um, and it was working. Every time you went, you saw a bit of improvement, a bit of improvement, which had a big psychological effect on me that, that it was improving. And it is wonderful to see his face changing when you remove the first dressing and it is a marked improvement. And he starts uh, liquoring some hope into those eyes and he said, hmm, maybe this is going to work. And he was completely healed three months later. Uh, which is a great achievement considering that he was um, having these wounds on his lower leg for more than four years. And he even stated that he can go back to his hobby looking after the bees. It's just such a, a nice thing to know that, um, I mean, I love my bees and knowing that they helped heal me is a, is a big plus in my life.